My name is Daniel Bunnell. I'm a PhD candidate at the School of Pharmacy at the University of Tasmania. And I'm looking at a pharmacist home visit service for patients after they've had a heart attack. We found that there are quite a lot of patients that have difficulty taking their medications correctly uh, over time after they've had a heart attack. Adherence is a big issue, it's a complex issue. There are many things involved with people not taking their medications. The benefit of looking at the Tasmanian population is that they're typically a lower socioeconomic demographic by comparison to the rest of Australia. Hi Mrs Smith, I'm uh, Daniel from the pharmacy department here. That's a, an area where perhaps they, they're going to be more problems like medication adherence. So you can have that smaller patient group but still know whether it's working or not. One of my surveys is just six weeks after the patient's had a heart attack and we're already seeing with some of the preliminary results that some of these poor behaviours in relation to taking medications are there six weeks after the problem and they're, they're not following their diet or exercise or medication routines. If we do see improvements with the service, we then see, oh, well, these are the things that change. These are the attitudes, these are the behaviours that change that then led to improvements in adherence and we can really focus more on those in future. The fact of the Home Medicine Review being a fairly young service and being fairly unique to Australia was a big appeal that uh, this is an area where you can sort of, you can take this research anywhere in the world. Just because Australia is the only place that has this research, everywhere else is looking at how can we get onto that. If I had a, an older family, you know, a grandma or a grandpa who had heart disease and they were taking all these medications and I was their child or grandchild and, and looking at it going, what are all these things you're taking, you know? I'd really want to know that someone could go and help help them. These visits are half an hour to an hour long visits, so really giving a person a chance to understand why they're on medications and what they're doing and how long I need to be on them for. Even if it is only that one in a hundred that does get an issue like that picked up, when you expand that out and you're saving one in a hundred lives, that's, that's actually quite significant. If you want to come and work with the best researchers in that area, you've got to really find out where they are and, and for me it was UTAS. And you see the direct improvements, you know, we're saving lives with this service.